changing the narrative of manipulation. Um, how's manipulation changed over the last sort of 15 years? Because I had a really interesting chat with a guy in Germany a couple of weeks ago, a uh, physio, and we were talking about the differences between osteophysio chiro and different thought processes. And he asked me a simple question, how has manipulation changed in the last sort of 10, 15 years? And it, it has changed, but, but it's changed in thought process, not in application or not in technique, right? And the easiest way I can explain it is, um, the sacroiliac joint. Okay, it's a contentious joint as it is. And the osteopath tend to be like completely obsessed with the SIJ for some reason. Um, but if you'd have asked me 15 years ago, patient presents with a sacroiliac joint dysfunction or pain, what I would have done is I'd have checked the PSAS levels, looked for biomechanical differences between the two. I'd have looked for structural changes which were causing the person's pain. I would have probably diagnosed an anteriorization of the ilium, uh, a leg length discrepancy, and then I would have used a modified lumbar roll to manipulate the patient's pelvis back into position. So 15 years later, I'm using the same technique, the modified lumbar roll, to treat the same sacroiliac joint pain, but I'm not using the thought process of biomechanical repositioning. So I'm not changing the pelvic position. I'm not repositioning the pelvis. I'm not correcting leg length discrepancy. I'm using the same technique, not from a biomechanical thought process, but to create symptomatic modification in the patient's presenting structures. So trying to reduce the sensation of the tissues or the joint. I'm trying to create a functional modification, allowing the person to move a bit easier by manipulation of the muscular reflexogenic process. The patient may have a visual biomechanical change in pelvic levels and leg length, but that's not a structural change. The muscles are probably just relaxing, giving this sort of impression to me as, as a practitioner. So the technique is exactly the same, but I'm just using current thought process around it. Um, so the techniques work. These techniques all work. But how we rationalize, how we interpret them and how we are explaining why we're doing them to our to our patients has changed dramatically. So manipulation has changed. The philosophy around it has changed, but the techniques haven't.